Let's work a little Cripple Creek. Uh, the tab is there on my website, LittleRockBanjo.com. Um, let me talk a little bit first of all about hand position. My main thing about your left hand is you want to stay away from this kind of thing where you're trying to palm the neck of the instrument and, and work and like push against your palm because that, that just slows you down because you got so much contact, so much skin contacting the neck of the instrument that'll just slow you down as you move around. So this is the way I do it. I'm up here like this, trying to, trying to keep my hand kind of perpendicular to the neck of the instrument. Then I just bend my fingers around like this. And my palm ends up kind of at a 45 degree angle to the neck of the instrument. That way, I have good freedom of movement all the way up and down. motion as limited as possible with my left hand. I don't want my fingers to be flailing all around. You know, I want to keep my, my ends of my fingers sort of hovering over the neck all the time. So that they never have very far to move, especially with the little, uh, little uh, slides and pull-offs and all that. So let's take a look at Cripple Creek. Uh, first of all, the way I have it tabbed out, I tab it so that both of these notes fall before the next note. Now, I know when you really speed it up, it kind of all starts to blend together. But uh, just for the, the purposes of doing it slowly, and everybody has to start it out slowly, uh, I do the, the two, three slide, and this is on the third string, and I use my middle finger. I do the two, three slide, before I do the open second string. And here my roll is three, two, five, one, which you'll remember is the first half of your alternating roll. And you can find all those open string rolls on another one of my videos. Three, two, five, one. So when I hit the three, I'm doing this slide with my left hand. And see how my fingers are arched over. That way, if I'm like this, you know, I don't want that. I want to hear those other strings. So I keep everything nice and clear underneath my fingertip here. Okay. It takes a little work to get used to that, but once you do, you know, you'll never you'll never go back. So there's my slide lick. My pull-off lick is another variation of an alternating roll, except instead of doing three, two, five, one, I'm doing three, two, four. alternating roll is thumb, index, thumb, middle. Okay, so uh, I'm doing my pull off on the second fret, third string, with my second finger, fret it, then pull off. And you just kind of give it a little flip. You don't have to move a lot, just a little bit enough to kind of pick that string a little bit with your finger. So uh, all of these, uh, your thumb will play the first note and your left hand will actually play the second note. So um, like with the slide, my thumb plays the first note, my left hand plays the second note by sliding. In the pull off, my thumb plays the first note, my left hand plays the second note by pulling off. In the third lick, my thumb plays the first note open, and my second finger here again, uh, this is the fourth string, second fret, my 
my finger, uh, my left hand plays the second note by hammering on. So, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. And you can just practice those. I mean, those, getting used to doing that takes a little practice all by itself. Pull off, hammer on. So, my pull off lick is three, two, four, one. Notice I'm moving over to the fourth string with my finger, fretting the second fret. Third lick is my hammer on. Start with the open fourth string. My left hand, my finger, hammers on. Second fret, fourth string. And then I finish out my lick, two, one, five, three, with the index finger, pinch. And again, the open string version of that roll is also on the same uh, other rolls video. Either on my YouTube channel or uh, at LilRockBanjo.com. So I just do the hammer on with the first note. Again, that's fourth string, second fret, middle finger. So I got slide, pull off, hammer on, and three, pitch. Okay? The introduction to the song is actually the slide lick three times. pinch this time because I'm going into the first part of the song so that's the second fret first string and I'm pinching with the fifth string slide up the first string to the fifth fret right there so it's two five then an open string fifth string open first string open second string then we do our C lick and you'll find this on one of my other videos to the C chord is uh, Second string, first fret, first string, second fret. And I do a five, two, one, five, open one, and a pinch. That's my C lick. <clears throat> so I've just now done my pinch, slide up the neck, five, one, two, C lick. One pinch. Then I go right back into my third string slide lick. Pull off. Hammer on. And at that point, you've got the whole song learned. Okay? So you have uh, this pinch, slide, five, one, two. Your C lick. One pinch, slide. Okay, now you have your, your endings for each part will be different because you're doing each part two times. Okay, so you start your first part with the, this pinch, second fret, slide up, C lick, slide, pull, hammer on. Now we're going to repeat that second time through. The second time through, we do the second ending, which is an open pitch. That takes us into the second part, which starts with the slide, 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 four, pinch, slide, pull off, hammer on. We repeat that, so we're doing the open pinch, slide, slide. This is the second time through, on the second part, slide, pull off. Now we do the second ending of the second part, which is this pinch again, second fret, because we're going back to the first part. It's taking us back to the beginning of the song. So we're back there again. 
and you'll see this on the tab on LittleRockBanjo.com where there's a, an ending number one and an ending number two. The ending number one will have the repeat sign which takes you back up to the beginning and then the second time through you skip that measure you go to ending number two instead and that takes you into the second part. And The second part has the same type of, of two different endings. So the first ending will have the repeat sign taking you back to the beginning of the second part. You go through it again. When you get to that uh, um, that part again, you do the second ending instead of the first ending. Then the second ending takes you back then to the top of the page. Are we clear on that? Okay. Sometimes you just have to do these things for it to kind of get clear to you over a period of time because it can be real confusing. I know it can be real. I'm confused by my own explanation about all that. So, so I started off with this pinch here and the slide up the neck on the first string. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one and two and three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three, four, one, two, three. See lick, slide, pull off, hammer on. Second part, got the open pinch, slide, again because we're repeating Now about the slide lick, I do a two three slide. So I do two to three, then I hit the second string. Like that. And I, I, I do the two three, and then I take that finger off when I hit the second string. Because I don't want to leave it on because it'll ring those two notes together and it'll have that kind of dissonance. So I don't want that. So I go ahead and remove my finger after I get two three then second string, like that. If that's too much of a problem for you, then instead of doing two to three, you can do two to four. That way you don't have to time it quite so exactly. You can leave it on a little longer. Uh, okay. Like that. So either way it works. Um, some people prefer this way. The actual recording with Scruggs, I think, actually does the 2-4 pitch. Of he's also in the key of A, so he's using his capo. You might want to uh, start it off with the 2-3, because it's a little easier slide, you don't have to travel as far. And then once you've gotten used to it, then try out the 2-4 slide. Going to the fourth fret instead of the third fret. 